What's going on guys? In today's video, we're going to take a look at primaries versus log. More specifically, the differences between them and how they can work in conjunction with each other and how we can use just log wheels to create a look. So without any further ado, let's hop right into it. All right, guys, before we get started on an actual footage, let's take a look at this gradient image and let's pop up scopes here. Kind of wanted to use this black to white gradient because it sort of give a more realistic representation of an image. And and we will go into an image in a little bit. I just want to show you guys what primary wheels would do versus log wheels. So first, if you take a look at the gain at the bottom here, if I boost up the gain, you notice that we're introducing more white into the image. And if I move it to the right, it uses the highlight. Same thing for lift, push more black into the image versus push it to the right, lift up the blacks. And you can see that on the scope. Same thing with the gamma mid tones. And as you can see, the way it shifts, it's very linear and of course offset is just offsetting the whole thing and if you look at the waveform you can see that as well all right let me just reset all of that and let's jump over to the log wheel and see what it does to the waveform here if you take a look at the bottom left here you see shadow mid-tone highlights it's the same thing as lift gamma and gain it's just different wording However, when we start making changes, you will see the difference in the parameters. So let me just pop up the scopes here again. Here, when we make changes to the shadow and just crank that up really high, as you notice, it cuts off right here. So what that means is it's very specific in where it made the changes and we can control where the shadow cuts off. By looking at the bottom here, you see LR low range, you can adjust to where you want the changes to be for the shadow. So I can be very specific and say, I just wanna make changes to this bottom portion of the shadow. Okay, let me just reset that and take a look at the highlight. Same thing for the highlight. Say I crank up the highlight. But the cutoff for the highlight is somewhere around this area here. And I can make changes to this HR down here, the high range, I can shift it to where I want the changes to be for the highlights. Okay, you have a lot more control in terms of where you want the changes to be. And of course, same thing for the mid-tone. Let me just make it extremely out of whack here. And you can control that mid-tone by adjusting these two parameters at the bottom here. So what does that mean for you in a real world situation? Lock wheels are meant for you to make finer adjustments in very specific area versus in primary wheels, you're making these lift gamma gain changes on a global scale. And if you're not careful with how you make the changes in the lock wheels, you can really ruin your image. All right, so let's take a look at an actual footage. I wanna take you through my workflow using primary and log. A lot of people use either or. However, I like to use in conjunction with each other. Here we have a Blackmagic Raw clip, so it's a 12-bit footage. My first note is noise reduction, and this is color space transform to get the color back from the raw footage. My next note is exposure. We're gonna do a little bit of white balance, and this is look. So let's just go ahead and start with exposure, and let me pop up the scopes here. I'm going to lift the gamma up and bring the lift down. I want to boost the contrast a little bit, brought down the gain just a tad. And let's jump onto the white balance. And as you notice, I always start with primaries wheels and that's just sort of a, a global adjustment to the whole footage. My rule of thumb is to do as much adjustment in the primaries before jumping onto the log. And here I'm going to show you a really cool way to use log, but first let's just finish with the white balance. It seems a bit too much on the orangey side due to the reflection of the light. So I'm just going to offsetting it a little bit. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, that looks that looks pretty okay. Now, here is where the power of log comes in because log is so specific in where it makes the adjustment. This is how you can create a really good look for your image. And obviously from the look of this, this is screaming out for that teal orange look. So let's jump straight into the uh, log wheels and I'm gonna go for this vintage teal look. So what I do is I just push it all the way there and bring it back. Now here's the cool thing. We're working with shadow, so that's the low range. I can refine it 
and you can see that in the shadow right here so you see this blend between the shadow and midtones and highlights here you can change the range of your adjustments okay let me just park somewhere here and already just by introducing that teal into the shadow and limiting where that low range is already you can see that we've created a look just with one node now I'm going to take it another step further and this is when we're going to use qualifier to qualify the skin and just to separate the skin tone out and refine it a little bit more. So Alt S and I'm going to create a parallel node. I'm going to take this bottom one here and I'm just going to qualify for the skin. Turn that on to see where it's affecting. That's okay. It got a little bit of that lamp in there which is okay crank up the blur so as you notice i qualify for the skin and i'm jumping back to the primary wheels to make the adjustment here obviously it's the mid-tone and i'm just gonna push that i'm pushing a little bit more red bring back some of that color on the subject's face just minor adjustments and that's pretty much it however i'm noticing that the teal is a little bit too much so i'm gonna go back to that look node and bring it back a little bit more there you go and we still have our look all right so let's review this really quick we started out with color space transform bring back those colors from a raw footage we went ahead and do a little bit of exposure which we didn't do much and all of that is within the primaries and if you remember from our gradient clip here primaries makes adjustment to lift gamma gain in a very linear way and it's affecting the whole image and same thing for white balance and for that we still make the adjustments in the primaries and that's why i have offset and pushed towards bluish teal because of how the color of these lamps were casting on the subject's face and then when we start diving into something a little bit more specific that is where we use the log wheels because we already know exactly what we're going after and more specifically in the shadow we wanted to introduce that teal into the shadow without affecting the mid-tone and highlight and we can control that range by adjusting the lr parameter at the bottom so to wrap this up primaries wheels and log wheels are the fundamental of color correction and color grading and if you are starting out with color correction or color grading i highly recommend that you structure and to simplify your grading process using the primaries wheels first to color correct your footage and or if you need to make some specific adjustment to the shadow mid-tone or the highlight that's when you jump into the log wheel all right guys i really hope this video helps in some way when it comes to color grading it's such an in-depth subject that we could never cover it in one single video and here we're just scratching the surface and i really hope this video is just that just to scratch the surface of primaries versus log because we could really dive into using Using these two to color grade because obviously people not only use this for YouTube but also for commercials and Netflix really big projects out there so obviously the tool itself is extremely powerful and if you've been following the channel you've noticed that I've been doing a lot of beginners guide and very basic tutorials on resolve because I want to lay out the groundwork the fundamental of video editing in order for you guys to feel more comfortable with not just resolve but with video editing in itself so hope you enjoyed this video give it a like share with others if you are new here consider subscribe i make resolve tutorial videos on helping you become a better filmmaker so if you haven't just smash that subscribe button and if you are already subscribed thank you so much it means the world to me you guys have no idea seeing those comments and asking questions on reddit i appreciate each and every one of you and on that note stay safe Stay creative and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye bye.